What goes on up at the University of Victoria? It's not just a place for students to continue learning. Behind the scenes at the university are a variety of advanced research projects that will change our world. One thing that wakes me up in the morning is that frogs look like frogs and humans look like humans, but at the basic mechanics of life, there are a lot of similarities. UVic has just been given a grant from Genome BC to be the first to sequence the bullfrog genome. But what does that even mean? Well, a genome is basically a biological operations manual of DNA. Not only do we contain an operations manual called the genome, but every life form on the planet does as well. The interesting thing is, although genomes between animals are very different, the actual mechanics of how they're used is pretty well conserved. So what do we gain from the bullfrog genome? The molecular processes or life processes are not reinvented from animal to animal. They're used in a similar fashion. And so by understanding the frog, we get an insight into a wide variety of other wildlife species, other animals and human beings as well. The human genome took 13 years to sequence, and the bullfrog genome is twice the size of the human one. But with new technology, the UVic research team will be able to sequence the genome in only a year and a half. What we do is we isolate uh, cells. We take liver cells from a bullfrog, and then we isolate the DNA that's contained inside the cells uh, so that we can actually decode the, the secret of what makes a frog a frog. The research team is interested in bullfrogs because they are a great indicator for the state of our environment and they are one of the most threatened species on the planet. At the same time, they also are indicators of human health and we're using frogs to, to help us to understand both the effect of pollutants as well as the effect on, on our own health. With the genome, we will be able to understand why some frog populations are going extinct. But the research will also hit closer to home for many of us. With the bullfrog genome, we will be able to create more accurate tests around the effectiveness of our sewage treatment systems. We don't have any good tests right now to be able to sufficiently say that there is uh, appropriate removal of bioactive substances. It's a great way to tell that whether or not it's, it's working and, and that it's working well. And remember, bullfrogs are closer to us than you may think. Babies look a lot like tadpoles or frogs, but it turns out that a lot of the same kinds of, of biological changes that happen to prepare a baby for birth actually are, are mimicked in the transition of a tadpole to a frog that lives on land. So next time you take a drive around Ring Road, remember, there's more going on up there than meets the eye. From Victoria, I'm Meg Cuthbert.